सो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड आई एम बैक विथ अ न्यू वीडियो ऑफ ट्राय हैकमी एज बी वी आर ऑलरेडी सॉल्विंग द पाथ ऑफ जूनियर पेंटेसन टेस्टर वी सॉल्व फ्यू लैब्स एंड नाउ इज टाइम फॉर द लैब बॉब सूट रिपीटर आई एम ऑलरेडी कनेक्टेड विथ ओपन वी पी एन सो डू सो इफ यू हैव एंड डन इट येट आई हैव माई बॉब एंड मशीन इज रनिंग for the few tasks you can just go through the text written here it just gives a description about how to connect to the attack box and the labs i will just mark it as completed now what is repeater so it's basically divided into six main sections like about the top left uh, the requests one the lists uh, another one is i'm um, sending it to the request to the servers whether it's modify or not then it's a like uh, inspector window on the right side we have it here if i just go to repeater i have the inspector window here as you can see and at last we have our target so there is nothing much in this you can just read it through so i will mark it as completed now for the task 3 we need to go through a basic uses of uh, repeater so whenever you start a machine on this ip just do a ping command followed by the ip to check whether the machine is running or not so is responding to my request that means the machine is up and running so for the task 3 let's see we need to capture a request and send it to the repeater by using control r or by right clicking and doing send to repeater says about using press send again that this will update the response connection header to open and many other things so let's just do that we will just go to the ip i haven't copied it yet so this is the ip this is the page that is hosted on this ip i will just uh, do it bob suit go on to proxy intercept as on and refresh this page so the request is captured here we can do right click and send to repeater or we can press control r on our keyboard let's just do that i will just go on forward and intercept as off now just go to repeater and says to change uh, let me just have a look the connection to i guess open here so as you can see the connection is written as close so we'll just make it as open it first we will send the request as it is so you can just uh, check for the connection is close now when we just make it as open and send it again we receive the request as or the response of the request as keep alive so that's what is it for the task 3 now let's go to task 4 So here it says uh, what are the different options available in the response tab that is pretty raw and hex or you can see here also pretty raw hex and render the rendering button will uh, load it as it should be shown on the web page or the browser it would take time you can just read about this experiment with the options we done that which option displays the response in the same format as your browser would as i already told it's a rendered uh, option now it's time for the inspector here as you can see so it's saying about uh, the different attributes parameters means the option available in the inspector tab a section showing us as an example you can just give it a quick walk through and read it i will just mark it as complete for now now it's time for some practical experiments all those were theory now it's something for practical so it says capture a request to the ip and send it to repeater i will just go to proxy again intercept as on and reload this page we have our request here i will send it to repeater forward it 
and turn the intercept off so we have our request here the earlier request was captured here and the another one is on the second tab so we did this now it says trying view this one of the other view options example rendered so if we just do a send and click on render it will render as a earlier one so we'll mark it as completed for now now it says using inspector or manually if you prefer add a header called flag authorized and set it to the value of true so you can use the um header so in the header section we can add something as it says flag authorized as true i'm sorry i just went to the flag authorized as true and click on add so it will get added here as you can see now let's just go back to the pretty one and send we should have been given with the flag you can't see it here let me just send the request again i will just copy the line from here send it will take time in some cases so as you can see we received our request with the flag so let's just place this flag on the section and yes it's correct now it's time for the task 7 it is a challenge now we need to capture the request to one of the numeric products endpoint like we can visit the product section and when we go for a particular one we will have a product id at the end like three let me just show you turn the proxy off for now let's just go to products so here is our slash products url and if we go to any one of these like uh, i go to web design so it has a product id three so it says we need to capture it and forward it to repeater so just intercept on reload and we have the request here send it to repeater intercept as off and back to repeater now we just go to the home page like this so now we have like one two three four five services offered so if we just change the product id as one and click on send i will have the vps here as you can see vps now if i just change this one to five we have it as a cloud storage as you can see here also and when we will do something like uh, exceeding the query or it's not in the database it should return 404 that is not found so if we do six and there is nothing as six element in this page so it's returning 404 not found so now for the task i will mark this as completed it says what is the flag you receive when you cause a 500 error in the endpoint so for that uh, we need to change the code by changing the number at the end this number here to the extreme inputs so you can just do that by giving a minus and the id number whatever you want so i just give it as a minus one and it caused a 500 internal server error and we should have our flag here so this was it for the task 7 now for the task is to, we have a sqli with repeater if you just saw the previous video there was a room of sql injection it was pretty well explained itself you can just go through that video or the challenge yourself um, let me just show you so this was the room of SQL injection 
it explained all the queries and attacks that we can use if we figured out that the server is vulnerable to SQL. So that's same in this case also. For confirming that uh, the server is vulnerable or not, it says us to capture the request of about section and any of the IDs. So let's just go to about for that. Uh, let's go to the home page about us. We just go to proxy intercept as on and click on ID or you know a face. Let's just send it to repeater and forward and intercept as off. As you can see, we have a about to we have the request same as of it here. And now it says us to add a inverted comma. Um here as you can see it says us to add a single apostrophe that is inverted comma at the end and send the request as you can see it here so let's just do that so it uh, responded with 500 internal server error but if we scroll down we were given with the query executed on the server side so this is meant as a vulnerability the server should not respond with the query executed it can lead to attacks so that means the server is uh, vulnerable we will just mark it as completed and it says about uh, what are the database name what are the five columns we are given with you can just go through i will just mark it as a computer for now another thing of uh, extracting the comments or the sorry column names it's pretty explainable itself you can just go through now it says exploit the union and SQL injection vulnerability in the size of what is the flag so we need to use this payload here I will just copy the payload and replace it by the to and apostrophe click on send and we have our flag here so this was data in the image of the CEO we just go through the page and uh, about us so the one here says about the CEO that is Jameson Wolfie. You can see the about ID is one. So this was it for this task. Let me just copy it and paste it in the section. So now at last it's room conclusion. It shows that uh, we need to go for the Bobsuit Intruder. So this was it in this video. See you in the next video of Bobsuit Intruder. Till then stay safe and happy. Thank you.